All right, guys, let's finish this up. So we are going into the final round. So, and we have Alexander Lizgaith against Luke Feeney. We have Cat versus based Lolly High School. Doesn't get much better than this. Doesn't get much more entertaining than this. So looks like Lolly starting out. Going to play a spell with your Crescent. Going to have Joe Soto bang his head against the table. <laughs> so, Lolly revealing secrets, master, and probably tower. Tower or wisdom, usually. That's what we've seen from the past ones. So, wisdom getting going in there. All right. So. Then getting some shuffling down before throwing down justice and then tributing justice for a secret and a priestess. Pretty solid opening. Not two bananas, but pretty solid. Is Lolly going to win this tournament? It certainly seems that way, at least based on He's the golden boy. Mo based on the most recent two records that I've seen. I mean, going through losers bracket, that's a tough road. It is. Did he lose round one? Uh, I think he lost round two. Someone told me he lost round one, but I'm not sure. It's it was either one or two. He lost pretty early on. So, anyways, Mermelio coming down. Going to search for that. God. Yeah, he lost round one. That You play more games than loses bracket, so uh, he's played the most games in the tournament. Yeah. Actually, more than Luke. So, attacking for 16, doing some early damage to Alex. See, so hey, there's there's MVP Maxi. Dude, <laughs> Max Priestess in the hand right now. Max Priestess. Max Priestess. So, is that another is that a blue boy or a justice? Blue boy. Okay. Blue boy. Spellbooks, doing their spellbook stuff. Always doing their spellbook stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk anymore. <laughs> I know. I've I've actually talked more while commentating today than I usually do. Mm -hmm. Mostly because there's a larger volume of games. For the most part, yeah. I actually do like that though, going from one game right into the next. So. Good enough. Is there damage? Um, I believe he attacked over uh, the Mermelio, so that would be 900 plus 5, 1400 damage. Cool. That's cool, man. Summon Dinea. That's a good card. Dinea bring back Mermelio, pop back row. Dion! Hey, MVP Maxi. Oh, yeah. 
BLHS, Base Lolly High School. Lolly always makes me uh, give him names for his decks. So he told me it's Base Lolly High School. But since no one would understand that, I also put spell books. No one is talking a lot right now because we are kind of shot from the day. And I asked around and nobody else wanted to commentate for some reason. Or at least everybody else is busy or something like that. So, yeah. you're stuck with our boring selves because, well, we're tired. Oh, he's popping. Oh, but he plays the fate. The fate. Fate of the world. You're the best. Ultimate spell books versus Round. cat. Three. Fate. Two cards. Or marble or something. I did. <laughs> That's my reference. <laughs> He's gone. So, how many hats in a row has Lolly had to stomp? I don't know. He paid the wrong commentary. Tell him to come over. Tomorrow will be better, I promise, because I won't be exhausted and literally falling asleep as I am talking. That may, in fact, not be something that happens. Yeah, I also did not get very much sleep. I, we're lucky this isn't a Saturday, and we traveled the same way. Yeah. It would kind of be bad, but... Oh, yeah, it'd be really bad. Um, this is a little bit more laid back, so... Yeah, I'm going to get decent rest tonight, rather than uh, having people keep me up until 4, 4.30 a.m. That, that's the general hope, at least. Yes. When's Marvel? Uh, it's, it's tomorrow. Tune in. <laughs> All I care about is the L NALCS. Also tomorrow. Nalx. 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 Nobody cares about the EU. Even though, like, most of your team is, like, is from the EU. Uh, four. Four of six? Four of seven. Including yeah. team. Including team. Justice. I was just like God drawing. He's he is not bricking. He's playing everything really well. Yeah, I think Spellbooks is a pretty consistent deck because everything just gets everything. So three. Did he attack with justice? Oh, he killed the Mermelio. Oh, yeah, I killed the Mermelio with justice. So. It was in defense. Adding another priestess. Not a bad play. Not a bad pun either, Mr. Uh, Chromosome. Yes, justice has been served. Oh, jeez. That's the scoop. That was a quick game relatively compared to uh, some of the other things we've seen involving hats and cats and fats and they're all just about hats they're all about scooping the lolly throwing phones all over the place you know we'll go easy on the ads for this game we'll let you guys enjoy the game absolutely enjoy the wondrous side decking meanderings What does brick mean in Yu-Gi-Oh terms? When you lose to someone and throw a brick at them? <laughs> what? Brick typically means you, like you draw a dead hand or like you just like are in, in a situation where your cards won't help you. Yeah. It's like in, uh, or for example, in spell books. You open spell book of the master, spell book of wisdom, spell book of life, tower, no monsters, and like one trap and a magic and uh, some other magic card or like if you're playing light sworn you open three jd 
That's three J D two wolf. Three J D Diablos Wolf and a Dragon Ruler. And you're just like, well, I'm off to a fantastic start. Three J D three Eclipse Wyvern. <laughs> like random stuff like that. That's usually a brick. Hands where you just can't get anything going. Also known as the opposite of the nuts. Indeed. That deck box is back in his face. I moved it before. Apparently Lolly is an anchovy. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, six vanillas and dino rabbit. Or like rabbit and then two of each vanilla. Like opening all monsters and Bujins and no Yamato. Yeah. Crane, crane, turtle. Done it on numerous turtle occasions. A anchovy? A anchovy. Not an an anchovy. A. The new hero support is busted, and I want all of it. That is that. But I'm not going to get it to like November, freaking December. It? Or even getting it. I'm kind of excited for the Noble Knight box. I don't even care about Noble Knights. I just want to see everything that's in it. Platinum, rare, uh, lances. Yeah, the Noble Knight box actually does look really cool. So, I'm, I'm curious about it. Yeah. That's a Ignition, Moral Attack, and Breakthrough. You, you spelled Lolly wrong. It's not L-O-L-Y. It's L-O-L-I. Mm -hmm. Plead. You're saying that he looks like Jim Carrey? Uh, these people. These, these people, man. People. Why? He's a young schooler. Alexander and Chovy Lizgate. Based and Chovy. Why do I think that? I don't know. Did I say that they did? I don't really think that they have such a good matchup against them. But it's just they, they can play their own game very well. They are a very grindy deck, just like Hat is. And any kind of grindy deck does well against other grindy decks. It's just whoever ends up drawing better. Spellbooks just play their own we game. Can't, you can't deny that Lolly hasn't just drawn god hands. So. Yeah. What's my favorite food? Chicken. All kinds. Steak. A really good stake is absolutely amazing. Wow, he milled two Moral Tech and two Ignition. Well, I think we're going to be going and to... And a Sanctum. I think we're going to be going to the next game. We're going to reset point. the bracket. Because <laughs> it's two two out of threes. Picks the Sanctum. Did you see if he had a moral tech in hand? I didn't see. That's probably what he's trying to take advantage of is hopefully the last like moral attack. Like going to beagle attack, kill the moral attack? Yeah. That's probably like, yeah. But that's all his stuff gone. So made that breakthrough? There's that breakthrough. Book of Moon. Ah, so good. It is a book. As moon. It is, in fact, a spell card. So it is a spell book of moon. Attention, one game, one day players. At this time, I would like to welcome you to the final round of your one game, one day, round seven of seven. After this round, standings will be posted once we receive all results. Those standings will become official five minutes after being posted. Should you have an issue with these standings, please immediately... Oh, boy. Phoenix Chain comes out on the Mermelio. Oh, dang. That's not a trap hole. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's not a trap hole. It doesn't have hole in its name, nor is it a normal trap, so... 
Mermilio is affected by it. Is he going to use the breakthrough? No? So why would he break through it once but not the second time? What do you mean? Like from can't, the grave? Can't you, yeah, can't you, you can't do it? do it on your opponent's turn. So oh, okay, on, okay. But from the grave, it's on your turn. I'm bad. Incredibly at that. Wow. I hate you. I'm just bad. I think that Hat won't won't be able to really do much against something like Shadows. <laughs> Probably. Because they'll just go, uh, they'll just go for the twenty two hundred. Mishu or whatever his name is. Midrash? Yeah. Midrash. Let's go for the 2200 Midrash. And it's like, okay, your trap holes don't do anything. And I just win. Now he's going to thank them out the uh, Beagle Tech. Secrets. That card's a secret. That's a secret. That's Rare. actually a secret. <laughs> Spellbook of Secrets should have been a secret. You would think that it would have been. But no, they had they to have It would have made the deck crazy expensive when it came out. Oh, it would have. It was still crazy expensive when well, it came yeah, out. Well, yeah, but it would have been, like, insane. It would have been, like, Light Swarm when it came out. Yeah. Like, six, seven different secret rares. This is best of three twice if Luke loses. If Luke wins, it's only best of three because he is undefeated currently. So since it's double elimination, it'll just turn right around and they yeah. fight again. So if Alex beats Luke, that's his first loss. So he goes to losers, and then they're both in losers. See, I play. I wasn't talking about Midrash against Spellbooks. I was talking about Midrash against Hat. I play a lot of fighting games. Uh -huh. So fighting game tournaments, this is just the standard double elimination. Yep. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's like foreign. It's out there. Two chains. Two chains. Also seems to be a common theme. So um, hey, look, it's that Sanctum bringing out Beagle Talk that we talked about. That's what got chained, right? Yep. So that means He's there's a most definitely a moral talk down there. It, it is that one, I believe. Yep. Three chains. Does he have a target to special summon? I think he's just trying to exceed. No, Midrash can't be destroyed by, f by uh, card effects. Fire hand does not work. So fire hand can't kill it. They can't kill it with moral talk. Uh, they can't kill it with Exiton Knight. They have to take it with... Uh, like a 101, but you can't special summon more than once per turn. You can kill a face down. That's the thing. Yep. Yeah, you can negate it with though. like skilled or with a fiendish or mm -hmm. breakthrough, or you can prison it. Well, speaking of ex Exciton Knight.
but no damage done. No damage. No touching. Who's got like two in hand? Yep. Nineteen hundred. First damage. A young mirror force, though. Excite on night control deck. There's no reason to yet. He's going to let him overextend a little bit more, make him feel comfortable. Yep. He just draws and passes. He's just building up that advantage. Yeah, he's at the point where he might, like, try something. He has no artifacts left, so if he draws the third, if he plays it, uh, Ignition, he can't even use it. So At this point, like, it's 400 more damage. He might, like, have something in hand and... Summon an attack. Yeah. Try and finish it this turn. Or that turn. Well, there's Priestess. So, boom. So we know one of those cards is dead. That's Moral Attack. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Or it's called the Haunted. Okay, the other one is... Maybe... Where did the Moral Attack die to the Excitement effect? I'm pretty sure it did. Second Priestess. <laughs> and again. Grabbing the life. So one way or another, staying on the field. Why did this phone vibrate? I have no idea. But I don't particularly care. Destroy Exiton. Was that with effect or that? With okay. the effect. Priestess. Interesting. Oh. So powering it up. So probably gonna so attack for five hundred, search for a spell book, probably tower, and then attack for twenty five. So total of three thousand damage.
opportunity for Tower. Play Tower. Tribute uh, Justice. What are you doing with your arm? Are you flexing? No, I'm looking at all the sleep marks that I put on it. No, you flexing. Always. Thinking that with as little left that he has, he might not have much left. So he has the sanctum. So, so he, he has the artifact? so he has the moral talk left because the thing that we thought was the moral oh, talk okay. was the call the haunting. Okay. And he's got a beagle talk. It's the beagle talk's the only one that he has. So he has used the moral talks. Yeah. Fight. Got soul charge though. Soul charge is a good card, especially with three moral attacks and grieve. Three moral attacks and two beagle attacks, two or one two beagle attack. Yeah, one grieve. Just make two Pleiades and just go, come at me, bro. One mirror force. Dude, he should have used the mirror force before. <laughs> that dynamic up top. Fire hand. Nope. Oh. oh. 300 life points. His ray goes That's dark hole summon Maxi. Oh, okay, never mind. If you Okay, Volcasaurus. <laughs> wow. Okay. If that uh was not a second soul charge it would Damn. be quite different. I love it when I'm wrong. But it was. So uh Luke goes up a game. Luke has the chance to, to win the entire tournament now. Yeah, absolutely. Off of one next game. Match set. Wally gets to go first. That's uh, well, choose. I keep saying go first. Yeah, but we. It, you know, it's a habit. But he gets to choose who goes first. Choosey, choosey, choosey. I would probably just go first. Uh, maybe. 
Uh, yes, Captain Fudge 33, we do sell Patrick Hoban cardboard cutouts life size. Always. 100%. We should actually get those. You should. Two different versions, one with shorts, one with pants. One with flip-flops, one with shoes. Whoa. You got to customize level. that stuff. Uh, we'll sell, like, Velcro things you can Velcro on. Uh, Trevor Tippett's life-size cutout? Yes, you can. They are $600,000. In fact, we'll just send you Trevor Tippett's. Yeah, I'll actually just come over to your house, Seth. He'll paint himself like cardboard. Yeah. I'm actually flat Stanley. Yeah, so Wally did go first. Boom, 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 boom. Spell books on spell books on spell books. Always. Correct. Correct. Uh, so, so just, so tap. I don't know how to pronounce it. This is. Game three of Grand Match Finals. One. Game it three could go to match one of grand finals. Grand, grand finals if Lolly wins. Uber grand finals. Yeah, double. Okay, Lolly's just going to set him up so well. Just going through all these spell books. I don't think it's Garunix. What's Garunix? It's a uh, Orea, the Sylvan. Sil High Sylvan Arbiter. Yes. Bam. First turn Priestess? Is that a why not thing? It could be a why not thing, but it also could just be applying pressure quickly before there's a trap to stop it. So a lot of what the trap tricks deck runs are summon stopping traps. They don't run a lot of destroy it while it's already out mm -hmm. there traps. That makes sense. Now they do obviously run the moral tox. Uh, but they have to set the sanctum action and get it off before that. This way uh, you either force out the sanctum early or you at least get your one destruction from priestess. Five back row. One of them's got to be, it's got to be like ignition, moral tag, mm -hmm. bull poop. All the bull poop. I don't know what you're proving me wrong about, but okay. Go for it. I love to be proven wrong. It means I get to learn something. Yeah. time is it? 8.19. Too late. If we get out by 9, I'll be happy. Amen to that. So, is that 3,000 damage to the face? You're right, it is. Now he's going to deprison the little, little blue boy. <laughs> is he? Uh, no. Could he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to book, actually. All right, so only 500 damages. Why didn't he book the blue boy instead? <laughs> that sounds he like so much better book. play. He should have sided out. It's just giving them more more books. That's uh, Moral Tack, Sanctum, and what's the middle card? Curry Bam Bam Curry Bandit. Curry Bam Bam Bam. 
Great bam 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 bam. Great bam 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 bam. Correct. I think that's what we're selling the match for. Yep, twenty. Uh, usually the thirty. I yeah. think it is twenty to thirty is what we usually sell them for. <gasps> oh. Oh. There's a lot of people, like big names here. There actually are, yeah. A lot of people who couldn't play in this tournament, but I've like seen them sporadically through the day, like Marcus. Um. Steinman, mm -hmm. Aaron Riker, Scott Page over here. Is that <laughs> Melt. It's like five minutes away. Do we ship mats to the UK? That's not a question for me because I don't ship anything. So Justice is 16. Yes. 16, 5, and 3. So that is 4,600 damage. Molly's in a good spot. Molly resets bracket. Is that what you wanted? All right. <laughs> so now we go to Uber Grand Finals. Yep. <sighs> now he's just a full on anime girl. What happened? <laughs> I'm going to go move the deck box. Yep, we have uh, Providence, Atlantic City, and I don't know if we've announced any of the ones after just yet. We have more planned, but we haven't had any announced. Did you click commercial? Yes. Oh, I was going to explain that they were taking a break. I mean, you can explain to everybody else. Yeah, so uh, they're taking a uh, mid-match break. Ish. We're on break right now. How the hell do you just hang in there? I'm not in there. Like, I'm not even making coherent commentary anymore. I'm just talking. I want to go to Chipotle, and then if I finish fast, I'm going to come back. I want to go to Chipotle.
it's a free shuttle. So guys, we're gonna get into the the final two out of three match of the tournament because Lolly, aka Alex, reset the bracket. So we're coming back in. Lakewood's like 10 minutes away. All right, we're getting in here. Luke won the roll. Mermilio, bottomless, combo. For all the marbles, says Sundeep. All the marbles. All the marbles. Always all the marbles. Oh, we got some drop frames there. Sorry. There are Maggianos. Corey, is there a Maggianos? Or California addresses. Oh, what the hell? How did they pick up your location there? California. There is a Magianos. More importantly, spellbook cards are being played. Where is it? Ten miles away. I love my Maybe that's tomorrow. Yeah, we could do that tomorrow. Uh, right, right here, it's on Detroit Avenue. Still 15 minutes. Still 15 minutes. Oh man, a duality on top of all this stuff. happened but uh Everything. something happened i turned you off do you want me to turn you back on how do i how you get a girl to like you captain fudge 33 just show them you're excited all night if you don't have one i don't know you're up a uh, up a creek without an arc <laughs> but um so something happened, I don't really know what happened. There was a duality and then they shuffled the deck and then uh, cards came out and, and Lolly going crazy. Ran. That's what we know. Yeah. Yes, chromosome. I will. Lolly won the first two out of three, but because he was in loser's bracket and Luke is in winner's bracket. Uh, Alex essentially knocked Luke into loser's bracket. And now they're fighting and the loser's now bracket championship. Whoever wins this match is the winner of the tournament. If Luke had just beat uh, 
Alex two out of three, he would have won the tournament because he had yet to lose. Aha, that's what it was. Can't activate duality under library. I don't have many mods. I ban like a couple people here and there when uh, people like make fun of background people. Wow. What do you think of that? Hmm? That uh, excavate. Um, well, Sanctum? that's a lot of cards that are wasted. Sanctum, Sanctum is what you would go with in this situation, yes. But now you can't be double soul charged. Yep, true. <laughs> you can barely be soul charged. Unless he runs only two. I like how we constantly get to see Joe's hand uh, float There was a bracket there. online, but we goofed it, so we did away with it. Which one of me is Trevor? I am Trevor. I am Kalen. I'm Kalen. I am Trevor. Whoa. Which is right. Which is left. You can call me Orange. Tomorrow is a totally different tournament. It is... You need points to enter, and then you get in. And if you have a lot of points, you get a buy. If you have even more points than that, you get two round buy. What he means is it's 20 points to get in, 100 yes. points for a round one buy, 200 points for a round two buy. This is all correct. Oh, my goodness. That's a great pot of duality. What's wrong with these casters? We are really hungry and really tired. Exhausted. We've been here all day. We didn't have any sleep. Yeah. I had a sandwich today. That's my meal today. I had a hot dog and a bag of chips. Just as swinging. So 1,600 damage straight to Luke Feeney's face. Unfortunate for his face. Could have broken his glasses. Yeah, he does have glasses. The money maker. Tower, life, life tower, life house, light, lighthouse. Lighthouse. <laughs> we're hanging in there. We're not. We're not on point, but uh, we're on. <laughs> Do I have a girlfriend? Yeah, me. At the moment, unfortunately not. It's me. I don't think Luke has very many playable cards in his hand. He has the Sanctum. Yeah, he has the Sanctum, but, I mean, what's he going to do? Blow up the the sp the Spellbook Tower? Yes. Give him free stuff? Yes. Yes. Sounds like the perfect, perfect plan yeah. for this exact situation. Winner of this match gets an Xbox One. There you go, Trevor. There's a question for you. Do you have a boyfriend? Nope. I know not who this Caleb is that you speak of. Oh, does Caleb have a boyfriend? No, we don't know Caleb. Is this the last this, round? This Caleb this the guy last sounds pretty awesome. The yeah. Last match of today's tournament. They're actually True. finishing up the 1K at the same time. Perfect. So everybody's getting done all at the same time. It's all just happy, fun times all around. Everybody gets to go eat all at the same time, so all the restaurants are going to be crammed. <laughs> Can I gif you, moderator? Yeah. I only give moderators to a couple people. Unless, like, the chat's being outrageous. That's not an invite to be outrageous, though. Give money, please. Nah. I think that was more like a gibe. Gibe money. I pronounce this gib. Jibe. Gibby. Can I get some jibe? Who's in the finals of the 1K? 
That I don't know. I've I have been, literally no idea. I've been quite preoccupied. I think I see this. both the Leverett brothers over there, so that's cool. The arc. Circus Series in your town? Is your town a major city? Does your town happen to be in the middle of everywhere? That isn't California. <laughs> Double Priestess. Yeah, I kind of just looked, I kind of glanced down at the chat for like a few seconds and then looked back yeah. up and, hey, look, there's Double he Priestess. priestess. <laughs> Where's the third one? Probably in the deck. I am waiting for the new heroes to come out so I can play with them. I am super excited for it. I'm actually, once uh, Duelist Alliance comes out, I'm probably going to build Yang Jing. Because I actually like how I like their design and the way that they work, so that's going to be fun. I'm going to build them. Louisville, we had one in Nashville. We haven't had one in Kentucky yet. We we'll probably have one in Kentucky at some point. Oh, geez, that's game, is it? Big guy can't attack, right? Big guy can't attack, but that's still a lot of damage. That's Twenty, yeah. He's just going to game. Wow, Lolly on tournament point. Seriously. So, Lolly just needs to win one more game, and then he is the player's champion. <laughs> it's a little funny how that is titled, but yeah. Now, this was the top 32 with a couple, like, passed on because not all those players made it. Uh, the top 32 point holders from the Circus Series for this year. And the end of last year in a double elimination bracket. Yep. It's a, it's a neat concept. Maybe we should do, like, top 16 next time. Because this just kind of took, like, the matches went, like, good early. But uh, when you start to stream everything, yeah, like the last four or five matches, it's like the equivalent of four or five extra rounds of a tournament. I like the double elimination idea because I hate getting, you know, sacked out of a tournament. Oh, yeah. Just one, you know, by that one loss. But I feel like it would have been great at top 16 as opposed to 32. It, ARG Providence happens to be during sneak peek weekend because apparently we're terrible at planning. But I think we had the date first. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah we actually had Providence set out several months ago. Yeah, and then Konami, Konami's like, hey, we're going to release this set this weekend. Like Providence was – we were talking – I remember uh, talking about that back like in, like, February or March. Yeah, like, before Vegas or, like, during. It's been in the works for a while. He probably just, like, had trouble, book, like, confirming the venue or something. Hoban played Sylvans. Hoban did pretty well. He actually did. He went undefeated for a long time. Technically, you go undefeated if you just go through winner's bracket. Luke has lost three of the last four games. I think in, if I were in his situation, I would be pretty on tilt right now. Oh, definitely. Like, I'd just be like, come on, man. Especially, like, this happens in other uh, games, too. Like, other, like, video games and stuff. 
someone comes back through the, the loser's bracket and they have a ton of momentum going and they're just like on point. Yeah. They know everything. Like Also, he's been getting tremendous draws. I am shocked that the deck has just not bricked on him. Oh, so I know, far. yeah. It's been extremely consistent. Yeah. So Teller Knights, I honestly haven't looked at them too much. They've been successful in Japan in, uh, over in OCG, but it's not they're not shadows from what I or from yeah. what I understand and what I've seen. So the biggest thing is that a lot of a lot of decks going into this next format are going to be compared directly to shadows. Yep. Just because they're such a overpowering deck for the most part. It's like in dragon format, everything's compared to dragons. Yep. The, uh, the second one and first one. Nope, there is no time limit. Oh, I was actually going to answer that. ARG Zimbabwe, totally next weekend, man. Uh, actually, it's right now. Bring out all your friends. Y you actually missed it. It was last weekend. Talk to the big boss man. Always the big boss man. So Jim's some, a cool dude. Somebody's hands came down. I assume he attacked with them. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, guys. Chat, can you fill me in on what happened with the ice hands? Where did they do damage? Yeah, if you guys can hit us up with the life point count, be much appreciated. You guys are better than I am at it. If I'm just nice to them, they'll be nice to me. Bulbasaur, all the way. Bulbasaur is oh. definitely the best of the starters. So I'm going to go with the, th the think theory that he... Okay, so minus 2,300, so apparently he did attack. Yeah, it's 57 to 8,000. Thank you, chat. We had to talk to our boss. Yeah, true. Neither of these guys were top 16. It's very true. <laughs> 8,000 to zero, base lolly always wins. Bali should have been, because he got second place, right? Yeah, he did. So he would have been top 16. Didn't Luke top four the last thing or something? Yeah, Luke uh, Luke didn't, didn't uh, he wasn't top 16, so he would have been out of it, but uh, Lolly would have been in it. Things are looking very good for Lolly. How many cards does Luke have in his hand? One? Or are they just all stacked? Or uh, are they actually in his hand? <laughs> I'm going to go with stacked or at one. Stacked? No, it's just one. He has two cards in hand. <laughs> yeah, two. And a dead fiendish? Or is it active? 
No, it's active. We have a lot of other circuits in the books and planned. We have not announced any others other than uh, Atlantic City and Providence. We want people to focus on those for right now. We will announce some more coming up in the future uh, here pretty quickly, I imagine. But we need to nail down details before we change or we add anything else. reasons we can't go to California cost is the new is the main yeah. one because right now a lot of our judges and such are like within driving distance if not usually like cheap flights plus Jim always takes uh, drives and takes all their uh, like setup equipment to like run the tournament all their vending mm -hmm. stuff they essentially shut down the store yeah, to and go they just out. Drive so out. Whenever you're talking about California, that's they would have to like ship stuff. That's over a 24-hour drive. For Vegas, so. we, they had to ship stuff. Mm -hmm. That probably cost a lot. And everyone had to fly out. A lot of us are like East Coast or Midwest, or so. There was talks of Orlando, but they apparently never got back to us. So 500? I believe that's 1,000. One's not Phoenix chained? Uh, one is probably I don't Phoenix know. chained. I do not know these things. I'm more focused on talking about people and oh yeah. Cassidy, I, I could say he might could do with a small nerf. Like I think the, I think what they did to him recently was pretty good, lowering his slow to one second I don't know what else to one ban, second so I'm three. fine just banning him. <laughs> but you, it's it's not easy enough already to just go uh, Cassidy, Lee Sin, Tristana, and just be good with it. <laughs> uh, ARG Boston, we are looking to go back to Massachusetts, I believe. Want to go to ARG Worcester again? We might do that. There's also Providence, which is pretty pretty dang close to Boston. That's in a couple weeks. Braum is really, really nutty. Elise, Elise doesn't really need any nerfs. She's she's fine as she is. Anyways, back to the back to the card games. Was that, that was Soul Charge for three. Soul Charge for three, followed by a torrential tribute and a curry bandit. Please do know that we will be closing in the hall in less than 10 minutes. If you could please make sure you finish your games, finish your trades, and make your way towards the exit. Bottomless Again, book, Sanctum, MST, MST Darkhole. We will be having a follow-up by 8 o'clock. We will be opening our registration by 8.30. Please make sure you... Hey, Ridley, what's up? Start on time tomorrow. Thank you very much for attending today. We hope you enjoyed our Top 32 Players Championship and our Slot of our 1K. And if you have any other questions, please make sure you join us up here. How many does he have? Okay. I feel like not seven. I feel like that may have not have been the right choice, and I would have just set the MST and done it in the in the standby phase. Does he have no cards though? He has no cards now. Oh wow! So now Lolly has all these cards up on him. He could just attack with the with that. He doesn't need to even yeah. get more monsters out right now. Oh well, the Phoenix Chain's still on the field, so that was probably a thousand damage before. So I'll put it as a. If not, I'll correct it. Your standings, one game, one day players are now final. These standings are final. If I could, please congratulate our top eight. Eric, thank you very much for attending, and congratulations on your top. If you could, please make your way down towards the end of the red table, the end of the red table next to the head judge, we will be talking to the top eight there. If you place 9 through 30 second, please revisit. 1600. If you place 
800. Jed Jane. Wally wins the uh, Players' Championship. Wally is the Players' Champion. Like, I'm I pretty biased. Like, I like Wally. Mm -hmm. Luke's cool, too. Luke is cool. But just watching Wally come from uh, the loser's bracket, like, we, we watched all his matches. It yeah. was just, like, really nice. Especially, the, like, how can you not root for him after the, the three priestesses? The triple priestess. Like. Those games were so charismatic, so. But Luke, good job to Luke for making it this far. He did get second place yeah, in the he Players' Champion. he gets an iPad mini. So, yeah. So he did absolutely fantastically today. So.